How's it going, Pharma Life family? Hi. Hi, family. We, yes, we have with us, those of you that are watching this, you know who they are. I don't I mean, but I'm going to introduce them anyway, wow. just for the heck of it. But they're pretty famous on the internet, and, and we got the, the pleasure to meet them on their last retreat that they did here, and they're really, really great guys. So, without further ago, We've got Tim, and I know you have a name, so good tell us. It's Team Mango, right? Team Mango. We are really cool people. They are very cool. <laughs> very cool. And we have Nathan. Nathan, what's your name? What's your surname? Um, some people call me Magic Fingers. Okay. Ah. Let's not get into that story. <laughs> well, let's but just I say think he, I know why. Yeah, he had a couple. He had an iguana that got pregnant several times without a, without a, uh, a male being around. So I don't know. <laughs> Seemed appropriate. And we have Daniel right here. Yeah. AKA Danimal. Danimal. All right, and, and, and guys, you just finished up uh, a, a retreat here. Um, but before we, we talk a little bit about that, because your guests have had such an unbelievable time, um, so many people get involved in this in this lifestyle for different reasons, um, and they're all really kind of cool right. stories, and they're inspiring stories. So I'd love for just a, a minute or two, each one of you, tell tell us your story, or maybe it's a collective story. I, I don't know. Tim, go ahead. Start. Uh, well, we always enjoy pushing the envelope, whether it be in social situations or physical realm. Uh, so I think really one day we were just like, what would happen if we just started eating nothing but fruits and vegetables? What would and, happen? Uh, <laughs> like, how ridiculous wow. would that be? So I think that's kind of what kickstarted us into our raw bras. That's that's actually really cool. Were there, maybe were there the same no thing for you guys, or um, maybe something different. Well, for me, I was a competitive athlete. I swam for college, and I uh, I always wanted to do whatever it takes to you know get that extra edge. And uh, you know, obviously, I think I believe food is one of those for sure. So we're all I'm just all about experimenting with different ways of eating and what uh, helps my athletic performance the best. Not steroids, though. No, no performance enhancing drugs here. <laughs> what, what you say you whatever it takes. All raw body. <laughs> Like totally conventional or yeah. smart conventional? Or? Well, we were like tweaking our diet to like yeah. gain muscle and to be more athletically enhanced. Like, because yeah. we played baseball and he swam. Yeah. We played a little tennis. We just wanted to be the best we could be. And and like when we first started doing that, we had no idea. We just kind of were under under the spell of the protein myth. So we just kept eating protein, 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 and it yeah. wasn't the best at all. We were getting protein with every means necessary, whether it was like McDonald's, KFC. Two, uh, cans of tuna, a lot of cans of tuna. My favorite was the microwavable dinners with like 27 grams of protein. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so how was the transition to Ra? Uh, well, the thing was, they, the one part of the story they left out was that Timothy and I were down in Costa Rica and we were running retreats uh, for like a college, like adventure, alternative type of spring break. So it was more than just drinking, but there was like uh, surfing, bungee jumping, you know, all the Outdoor, outdoor activities people come to do at Costa Rica and uh, while we were down here Nathaniel told us about the raw diet Nathaniel's the research department and he told us this idea of just only eating fruits and we're like only eating fruits that's basically that's the best food here anyway so yeah we'll do that we did it for a month and we just noticed improvements in our uh, like endurance just uh, our like actually our lymphatic system and our uh, immune system felt so strong like we felt immune to anything and is that what awesome. I hear you? Uh, yeah. You may have met us uh, maybe a year later, yeah. potentially. I don't think so. Maybe, you know. You guys were so new to Rafi. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that might have been right. That's probably when we were still like pretty rigid and dogmatic and looking down upon people that didn't eat all fruits. Oh, <laughs> how dare they? Yeah. Remember, love rules. Love rules. <laughs> um, so, you just kind of told us your stories, and they're, they're really, really cool. And, and it's kind of brought you to these, to these doing these retreats in a more specific way. And one thing, when you guys were on the farm, you had talked about um, the spiritual side of these retreats that you're doing now, and that's you're the creator, and that's something that we teach, you know, on our farm as well. So can you guys elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, the kind of the way we see it is uh, life is a, a, an extremely sensory experience. If you're in touch with your senses, no matter what you're going through, whether you feel that it's bad or whether you feel that it's good, having those, being in touch with those senses is what's being alive. Look at any animal, it's the same thing. And uh, in order to get in touch with those senses, we feel like you need to eat a clean diet. If you're eating processed foods all day, you're never going to be able to truly be in touch with those senses. So, Yeah, I feel like coming down to an environment like this is kind of coming out into God's kitchen. You know, He has prepared all this food for us, and it's, it's everywhere in an abundance. And uh, it, it really shows how simple and pleasurable life can be. 
And uh, for me, I believe that we should treat our body like it's a temple, and I feel like putting anything in your body besides like the purest foods is just, it, it gets disrespectful to your body and to our creator. Excellent. Mind, body, and spirit. So you guys are doing these retreats, and you're really transforming people. You're teaching them about cleaning, um, you know, healthy thoughts, cleaning out the body, and a connection to the spirit. And that, that, that's amazing. Um, Wow. What, what are your future plans? We kind of have, we live by a mantra, the best plans are unplanned. Plans? <laughs> yeah, what are those? Yeah, for instance, gotcha. we were walking down the beach and we were thinking about booking a flight home either uh, today or tomorrow, but we came across this 15-pound guanabana, and it kind of changed, uh, changed our outlook. <laughs> Maybe we'll stay a little longer. I like it. They're living in the now. Yeah, I mean, if you, uh, we kind of look for like, I don't know if anyone's ever read The Alchemist, but you can look for the omens or the signs of where to take your life next, and that's kind of how we're living right now. I know it's not everyone, not everyone can do that, but we're in a position where we can, and we feel like that's the best for us right now. It's so much fun doing it that way. Excellent, excellent. So while you're living in the now, which is one of the best, so we talked about that in uh, Chris Candle's retreats um, that we're doing right now. Um, um, websites where people can, if they resonate with you at all, or they want to sign up for your retreats, um, where they can go to uh, to catch what you guys are doing. Yeah. I mean, we have a website, robroz.com, but I think it's you can just skip that part and just go to our YouTube channel or our Facebook. That's where we put most of the edutainment. <laughs> edutainment. <laughs> so it's just Rob Roz, R A W B R A H S, like the Hawaiian bra. Like, what's up, bra? But youtube.com slash robbrows or facebook.com slash robbrows. And I'm, I'm curious, one last question. We'll tie this up. But what, what's been your most, in the times that you've been in Costa Rica, what's been your most transforming experiences to each and every one of you in this country? Um, spending time here at the beach in Dominical and Diamante Valley, Valley where the Finca de Vida is, uh, just being that interactive with nature uh, it's, it's probably been my most transforming experience. Okay. Yeah, um, being in this country, it's like, it's almost like I don't have a choice but to eat anything but fruit. You know, it's so hot, <laughs> it just, it calls you to eat fruit. You know, if, if you're constantly eating cooked food, you just heat up and heat up, but the fruit cools me down, so I find it interesting how your environment can put that role, play that role. Hydrate. Yeah, and hydrate. So it sure hydrate. does. You need it. Hydrate. And I find myself a lot just so grounded in experiences provided by Mother Nature that a lot of times, like, yes, for instance, yesterday evening I was surfing out here with my best friend, my brother, and the water, and the sun was setting, like a sunset that you wouldn't even imagine. I'm sure that y'all saw it on the farm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. I'm sure you were staring at it. Actually. We were staring. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we were. <laughs> so, so was I. My yeah. Timothy and I were in the water staring at it, and I looked that way, and I looked this way, and I see this tropical jungle, it just doesn't look real either. And then I like feel the atmosphere around me, the water temperature's perfect, the air temperature's perfect, and the waves are perfect. And I, it just doesn't seem real. Like when I'm in this experience and I'm looking at it, and I, and I can't even say, I'm like, is this like HDTV? Is this, <laughs> is this really happening? It's just like unbelievable. And just whether you're doing that or whether you're at the Diamante Falls or Nyaka Falls, it's just all around here. You can find experiences like that. And I guess that's what I kind of think is Pura Vida, or the country's motto. Your life, your life. Well, Pharma Life family, I'm going to put it out there. True manifestation is when you manifest in the now your future. But in essence, there is no future, but that's just a word. So in the now, I'm going to manifest that the raw bras do some retreats at the Pharma Life. <laughs> what do you think? All right. So we're hoping for that to happen. <laughs> Woo! Be a real possibility. Absolutely. So, Farmer Life family, the Rob Ross say goodbye. Until another time, Bye. much love. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.